Hi guys, hi guys, hi guys, hi guys, hi guys, it's me, the third boy. And here today's video, we will... Hi guys, it's me, the third boy. In our today's video, we will talk about how to evaluate algebraic expressions. So without further ado, let's do this topic. So the question here is that how are we going to evaluate a given algebraic expression? So let me give you the example. Evaluate 7x minus 4 if x is equal to 2. What you need to do here, guys, given this expression, as you can see, we have the variable x and we have x is equal to 2. So the simple step dito is to substitute or to replace this variable x by 2. So para gawin natin to, we have 7 and then remember this is your x and x is equal to 2. We can directly replace the variable x by 2 and it will become 7 times 2 minus 4. In this case, in evaluating algebraic expression, right after substituting the value of the value of x to the given expression, isipin mo ngayon uh, the different loss of exponents, the order of operations. So dito meron tayong 7 times 2 minus 4 in which first you need to simplify 7 times 2 and this will give you 14 minus 4. And 14 minus 4, that is equal to 10. This is the answer when you evaluate 7x minus 4 if x is equal to 2. That's it guys. Ganoon lang siya simple on how to evaluate a given algebraic expression. First thing you need to do is to replace a variable with a given value of it and then apply order of operations or yung loss of exponents. Now let's move on with item number 2 wherein we are asked to evaluate 2x squared minus 5x plus 13 when x is equal to negative 3. Again, your x is equal to negative 3. Therefore, we can replace this variable x by negative 3. So what will happen is that copy the coefficient 2. We will replace x by negative 3. So that is times negative 3 squared minus 5 times your x which is negative 3. We are replacing the variable x plus 3. And then... Simplify this, negative 3 squared, that is negative 3 times negative 3, that is 9. So this will become 2 times 9, and then negative 5 times negative 3, this will give you plus 15 plus 3. And we need to simplify this, 2 plus 9 is 8, uh, 2 plus 2 times 9 is 18, and for 15 plus 3, this will give you plus 18 also. And simplifying 18 plus 18, this will give you the final answer of 36. And this is the answer for item number K. As simple as that. Now, let's move on with item number 3. In number 3, evaluate each expression below if your x is equal to 5, your y is equal to 1. So we are given two different expressions or two different algebra expressions wherein we will be using the same value of x and the same value of y to evaluate them. So for letter A, we are given the expression xy minus y. So we will replace this variable x by 5, that is 5, times the variable y, which is 1, which is 5 times 1, minus your y, which is 1. And simplifying this, this will give you 5 minus 1, and 5 minus 1, the answer is 4. This is the answer for a, letter A. For letter B, we are given the expression x over 5 plus 6 plus y cubed. So simple step, replace x by 5. So this is 5 over 5 again. I replace this variable x by 5 because they are equal. So we have 5 over 5 plus 6 plus your y is equal to 1. So this is 1 raised to 3 or cube. You need to simplify 5 over 5 is equal to 1 
plus 6. And yung 1 cube natin, that is 1 times 1 times 1. Remember, yung purpose ng ating exponent, it will give us the idea how many times are we going to multiply the base by itself. So ito yung 1 cube natin is equal to 1. So simplifying 1 plus 6 plus 1, this will give us the answer of 7. And this is the answer for letter B. So I hope guys, within the 6 minute video that we have here, in evaluating algebra expressions, nakuha mo yung different steps or yung uh, concept on how to evaluate a given algebra expression with the value of another variable. So if you're new to my channel, don't forget to like and subscribe at hit na rin yung bell button for you to be updated sa ating latest uploads. Again, it's me, Teacher Gorn. Maraming maraming salamat. Bye!